since the devs are nowadays focused on the second project of Death Horizon series at this point, I guess, I thought there won't be anything new coming to the prequel, but I don't know where I saw the news about a new experimental mode which pretty much unlocks you the whole game. Like you can choose where you want to spawn in what section or weapons, just stuff like that. It is a first paid feature, so while I don't think having cheats is costing some money, this game has been in development for such a long period of time. Every update was for free, so I don't feel bad giving some more because this is one of the few devs that really proved itself. Just quick note about the Starbear Fusion. I'm pretty much waiting for a full release of it because it's currently now on App Lab and in early access. So I'm just waiting for a full fledged experience. I still support the project, however, from behind the shadows. <laughs> What should we go for? I also don't remember the concrete parts of the game. So maybe the last sector with the big boss fight. And then just unlocking pretty much everything. With the impossible difficulty that I've never seen. I don't know what that means. Is it more damage or more zombies? Time will tell. <laughs> oh la la. There's literally everything in the game, which that's what it should have been. Some stuff I did not check out as of yet, I feel like. Main the chainsaw, I suppose. I don't have a holster for this. What I would take for the maximum carnage. It's like the names are blending it themselves. I mean, just some stuff that I feel like I'd be comfortable with. Oh, I have unlimited ammo, okay. That seems solid. I think I need the last card. Well, now I have to figure out which one that was. Oh, it's purple, what the? <laughs> That is not the big boss fight. Maybe from the other side. Oh, that's here, okay. need to get through this. We'll see. I think with those will be more fun. I presumed there were like dismemberments with a chainsaw. I 
Ah, that's the end, huh? What was the goal? One big gun. Never shot one of these before. How to activate it? Okay, well, I can walk around pretty much. Uh, did he get an update or something? Looks more dismembered. I didn't know can stun him. I remember I had to destroy his canisters. Yeah, pretty much. You can just hang around now. And I suppose I'm glad that I finished the campaign when I could. At least there was some challenge to it. Now it's essentially more about having fun and doing what it pleases you. That would kind of mark the whole end of the game. I can see all his like intestines and stuff. Just have to break it. Guess that doesn't do an AV match. Jesus. This has to be one of the few games that have cheat system like that. Which I see why. Because <laughs> normal gameplay now is very quiet. I like that even the min gun is infinite. Nice. Now charge it faster. Right. 
To the side! Quick! You get the gist of it. What were like some other stuff with game modes? I never bothered to try them out, but... What seems interesting? Close combat? But even then we have all the weaponry at our disposal. I'll play nice. Why there's already a head there? So I think I activated like... A one hit mode. Or like more powerful strikes. I mean this is cool just to... Ruse. <laughs> it really shows you the mechanics. <laughs> Too bad the hostels don't hold weaponry like that. Because on my back there's only one. Chop chop! What the? Well, this is the checkpoint. Okay, that should be enough. Overall this is pretty cute. Such a different way of playing this game with having every resource possible. If you enjoy having no limits, this is definitely way to go. It has like a price to it, but it offers some entertainment in exchange. Hopefully now this should be the last video of the Horizon, but who knows, like the devs can just fix up anything at this point. <laughs>